are. <laughs> um, the babies are napping and the big kids are out here playing with bubbles. These bubble things are amazing. I don't know if you can, I don't know where you would find them, but I got them at Ross, go figure. They're like pouches of bubbles, and so they don't spill them. Well, I mean, they spill them some, but not near as much as if they're in a tube. And they work really well. Yeah, Eloise is too. She's doing great with them. Yeah. We've been doing bubbles for almost an hour, which is awesome. And the babies have been sleeping for an hour, which is awesome also. Yeah. They slept much better last night than they did the night before. And I'm going around with a donation bag in the playroom. I've been like, just tidying up in here. I think as long as we've had children, it's been just like a constant battle. All the toys and all the pieces and just trying to figure out a way to like make it work for us. It's constantly evolving. So, um, so I'm doing that. I have work later today. So Carrie is coming at some point. Um, today is her daughter's birthday. So she took her out to breakfast and, um, I can't, I can't believe, her daughter turned six today and I just can't believe it because when she, when Carrie first started coming around, her daughter was three. Oh my gosh, mommy, that's and, my first Whoa, that was huge. Eloise, let's not pop each other's bubbles. So it's just weird to think that like, when I think back on the memories of Nora first coming over for like a play date, you guys, she was younger than you, but I picture her how she is now. Eloise, stop popping each other's bubbles. It's just weird. Like, in my memory, she's, I don't know. Same with like potty training. I feel like when we potty trained Bear and Lindell, they were the age they are now. But they were younger, younger than Eloise. And I just like, I'm gonna have to go back and watch videos because that's just really weird to think about. Brad is pretty set on this one particular RV and it sounds like he's moving forward with it because he's like asking for my driver's license number and stuff. Um, so very likely this weekend we will be camping in St. Louis, which is really exciting. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot, sorry. Those audible pauses. There is a really cool festival in St. Louis called the Balloon Glow. I think it's called the Balloon Glow. It's a hot air, cool bear, hot air balloon festival. And I'm not even sure like what it's about. Oh, don't set it down like that, Eloise. You'll want to put the stick back in it and screw it tight. Holy cow. That was awesome. Some kind of hot air balloon festival, and like the night before it starts, they put all of the hot air balloons in Forest Park at St. Louis and like blow them up, but don't they don't go up in the sky. So you can walk around and like look at all the balloons. I'll have to insert a picture here. It's a really neat thing. And all the years that we lived in St. Louis, I never went and I wish I had um, but I think that would be really fun to take the kids there's a really nice RV park in st. Louis that we can stay at and like go watch the balloons so I think the babies are waking up yeah it's just fun to like think about what we could do in the RVs funny story I get a text from Rachel at work today it's like 3 30 and she's like Hey, our realtor is coming over today at 5.15 to look at the house. Uh, <laughs> she's going to like look at, she's the one that sold us the house. She's going to look at all the work that we did and kind of give us an estimate of what, if we were going to list it, what we would list it at. And like the current state of affairs of our home, oh, there she is. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it after we talk to her. So it's funny, we actually saw, so Susie's gone. It's funny because we saw her at the club probably like a month ago. Not like the club, but like our little golf course, our little golf course restaurant. We were at the club. Yeah. And she had probably had like a couple of glasses of wine, I'm gonna guess. And she threw out a number of what she thought she could sell this place for. And she said that exact same number tonight after coming and looking at it. And so that's a number that we're very comfortable with selling this place at. It's crazy. The only thing is though, we just don't have anywhere to go, which is the problem. There, we know we want to be in our current neighborhood because that's just where our like entire family lives. I should say Rachel's entire family. RV, RV, 
and we're definitely not going to live in an RV full time. That's for darn sure. Um, so it's like, if we sell this place, like, yeah, we'll make a really great profit. However, where are we going to go? And so that's the problem. So, I don't know. We'll this see. This is the on the market in the neighborhood. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of a shame because this place is perfect except for the location. And it's perfect except for, like, if I had known we were going to be, we were going to stay here or potentially stay here, I would have done things differently with the flip. But you just don't know. You just don't know. Well, don't know. we don't want to be here, you know, forever because the kids, like, we literally won't let the kids go out the front door without there being an, an adult with us. And I'm sure that's how a lot of people live, but people that live in the Midwest, in rural Missouri, like that's not how people live around here. Like their kids- They're, They cannot ride their bike at our yeah, house. Yeah, they can't ride their bikes. We can't have a trampoline in the backyard. So, yeah. I mean, these are nitpicky things. Like we're super lucky. This house is gorgeous. Totally. We're very happy here. Um, but we just know it's not our forever home. Walking Susie around the house, did you feel like, holy crap, we have a lot of stuff to still get done? Or were you like, this is manageable. I guess it's not that much stuff. Totally manageable. Really? Yeah. I guess the downstairs is almost done. Right. Not very much left to do down there. Right. But what about up here? Mm. I guess it's all like little nitpicky stuff. Exactly. It's like trim here. A little bit of trim here and like changing out a fan there and filling in a little bit of grout and stuff like that. Like each project will take less than an hour and there's maybe 10 of them. The more I think about it though, the less I want to move. <laughs> oh Lord. Can you imagine moving again? No, yeah, I haven't, I haven't pictured like moving itself. Yeah, let's not do that. No, I don't want to move. No. Let's stay here. Forever. Okay. <laughs> At least until the kids are like old enough to pack their own stuff, carry their own stuff. And get out of here. We're gonna stay here that long. That'll be like that'll be like college. <laughs> what? What? No. Yeah, geez. Ugh. I just can't imagine like packing up the kitchen, all the baby stuff. Yeah, I know. Every time I think about that though, I want to get rid of stuff. I get so fed up with how much stuff we have. I don't know. I I mean, yeah, so the kids' toys are... Yeah, I took a trash bag down there this morning and just started throwing stuff in it. Is that like the bag that just like doesn't have very much in it? It has like some random things in it, yes. It's, yeah. I don't know. I can't. Brad has very few faults. Very few. But one of them is that he... Freaking lets the kids go pick a toy. <laughs> like every time you guys go out of the house, you yeah. let them pick a toy. That's true. It's horrible. <laughs> so we have all. Well, and then pe random people, YouTube yeah. subs just send us stuff. Right. So. We get a constant influx of stuff without a constant outflux of stuff. So of course we have a lot of stuff. Right. Toys. Anyway. Toys. Toys. A lot of kids' toys. Mm-hmm. I the entire underneath of the couch is covered in them. I can't I can't keep up. Are there still oranges under there too? Yes. Cuties. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then toys. And lots of toys. And then they did a really fantastic art show today. I'm never taking that down. I like it. I like it too. It matches. There's fireworks. The decor. I like the picture that Lyndall drew with Ada and Elsie over on the side. Yeah, that one's... All the girls have jewels on them. Yeah. And Elsie has like three hairs that are sticking straight up. I need to do a close-up. Yeah. Okay, you can probably guess who's who, but there's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ada Mae and Elsie. And then Mommy. Eloise. Daddy Bear Lindell.
So Carrie said to start now and keep drawings that they have of people because it'll be fun to watch their evolution of drawing people. <laughs> and I feel like Lyndall is already, like they have a body and arms and legs, whereas mm-hmm. like Bears is like the arms and legs come out of the head. Right, yeah, they don't Still, have a neck. No. Well, but Lyndall calls them out on it too. She's like, where's their neck? Where's the body? <laughs> Where did his drawing go that was right there? Uh, it was on the fridge. I was definitely going to keep that one. We got to find it. Um, but he also, well, then he would draw a neck, but it would look like a chin. Well, I mean, it's, it was between the legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pee pee. <laughs> oh. Uh. Anyway, it's fun watching their interpretation. I also asked Lyndall, because I saw someone's kid on Instagram drew grass, a sky with a sun, and a bug. And I was like, hey, Lyndall, draw grass and a sky and the sun and a bug. Yeah. And she did. I just wanted to see. She's like, well, how do I draw a bug? And I'm like, how do you think you would draw a bug? And it was really cute what she drew. I took a picture of it, but I don't know if I kept it either. I'm a horrible mother. Seriously. I keep any of their artwork. Yeah, well, yeah. I wouldn't either. Where are you going to put it all? Exactly. We're just talking about downsizing. Right. You're a hoarder. <laughs> I don't know if it was this vlog or yesterday's vlog where Rachel has talked about, like, you know, if we do sell this place, like, maybe we would move into an RV. <laughs> like... Uh, no. Heck no. There's no way in Haiti. No. Definitely not gonna happen. Watch this next clip. We're living in an RV. <laughs> Welcome to the Brad Rach vlog. I'm Brad. We've decided to move into an RV full time. Just kidding. <laughs>